Something's not right. Oh, that feels better. I think uh, I think that's that's pretty good. <laughs> Mad Max 2 The Road Warrior was a film that was released in 1981 and it starred Mel Gibson and it was a sequel to the Mad Max series. This one focused a lot more on a post-apocalyptic world where there's a bunch of crazy Australians driving around in weird BDSM costumes and then there's the other ones who look like they just came off a lacrosse pit and they're fighting basically over the... over fuel. That is what the main commodity of the world is and they're driving it and pissing it away by driving around in circles, but that's Mad Max Road Warrior. The funny thing about this jacket too is actually I made this for Halloween last year and I made it uh, because I loved Mad Max Fury Road. Now, the reason why I say that is because I wasn't really a fan of Mad Max when I was younger. I watched the first one and I actually did enjoy it. Admittedly, I thought it was a little weird well, because Australians are just a little weird in this movie, but I did like the concept of it. I never saw the second film in full until last year. And the reason why is because I think I had this sort of mentality that people hyped the crap out of that movie so much that I was like, it can't be as good as I think it is. I had one friend who would never stop referencing it, who would never stop talking about it. So, you know, when that person, I've done that, I did that for V for Vendetta when I was in high school. I wouldn't shut the shit up about that movie. So I probably pissed off a lot of people and didn't want me people to see that either. So that's what happened with me uh, for Mad Max 2. I saw it and I did enjoy it. I understand why people like it and especially at the time, it was pretty cool. The car designs are interesting, the costume designs while bizarre are very cool as well, and that final chase scene. That's the one thing I'll say about Mad Max 2 is that its final 20 minutes with the whole tanker scene is the entirety of Mad Max Fury Road and oddly enough Fury Road is a lot more entertaining in my opinion but that's because it's so amped up it's had a higher budget and everything. For the time, this budget for Mad Max 2 was very limited, and the fact of what they were able to do with it was pretty cool, considering how they got a few more million dollars than they did with the original Mad Max. And they had to do a lot of budget cuts in that one too, a lot of tricks and whatnot. So you can see that they still did a lot of tricks in this film too. The character of Max is very interesting. He's this guy who basically wants to survive. Mel Gibson barely says a bloody word in this film, which is very interesting. I never noticed that when I saw it the first time. But watching it on the big screen, it's like, wow, he's really silent in this film a lot. And I always like the group that they work with. I, I like the McJagger looking like leader. I like the guy who's in the who's paralyzed. <laughs> when his legs are burning, he's just like trying to put out the fire, and he's got the higher up. I like how the women all look like they got they came straight off of either an '80s workout video or a uh, I don't know like a swimsuit. Like, there's some that just look way too pretty for the freaking post-apocalyptic world. But otherwise, this film is. It's slow in comparison to nowadays with films, its pace is a little slow, but the characters are still so bizarre and so intriguing sometimes that you really want to see them, especially the weird faux hawk wrestler dog dude, like, he's really weird in this movie. But when I compare it to nowadays, I think if I had seen this film before I saw Fury Road, I would have liked it more. But since I saw Fury Road, then I came back to this, my judgment honestly was a bit blended. It was a little bit biased because of how good Fury Road was. And then watching Mad Max 2, it's like, oh, that's good, but Fury Road is the better part of it. So in the end, what my remaining of Mad Max 2 is a 5 out of 7. I enjoy it, but the film has not aged well in my opinion. Now I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, what are you doing? Why are you rating it so low? That's just my honest opinion. I understand why people like it. Now obviously you need a climax, and that's what the climax is. But the time of which it takes to get there, and then just how kind of odd the dog dies, and all these other elements of the film. Also how the frick his car, his interceptor, gets picked up by that terrible tractor loader, and then that's how he crashes. That part was just that that I don't care what Nos does. 
that part pushes me a little bit. So anyway, that's what I thought of Mad Max 2. Uh, that's so, I also have got Sean here, so I'm going to be talking about Ghostbusters next. I hope you guys are enjoying the Digital Film Festival. Today we're watching Inception, Looper, and The Wrath of Khan. So I hope you guys tune in for those later, and I'll see you guys next time.